Cool. Let me check the sound. What the what? Big old dumb what? <laughs> I'm such a freaking dork. I'm so excited. Cartoons. Cartoons. Hi guys, my name is Grace Helbig. If you did not know, now you know your life is different now. Phew, look who's here. Hey. It's Thomas Sander. Uh, I'm on Grace Helbig's channel. We've been trying and trying and trying yes. for months to make a collab happen. Dude. You're never in town. I know. Encourage him to move to Los Angeles. I know. So he can come drink green juice with me and then Ooh. throw it in the garbage because it actually tastes like <laughs> Yeah, it's not very good. But Thomas is a new friend, so I thought that we would play the newly friend game. Yay! <laughs> If you do not know, the newly friend game is basically a combination of the newlywed game and just friendship. Wholesome, Wholesome fun, friend, fun, well we'll see. I think we have like seven questions that we've each answered for ourselves and we've written our answers down so now we're gonna go through each question and try to guess what the other person's answer is in an attempt to know each other on a deep emotional level. Man, you are really good at explaining things. <laughs> That would have taken me 10 I, times to do. I blacked out in the middle, so I don't know if that made any sense. Do you feel good about your question, your answers? I believe so. Yeah, there's some deeper questions in here, and some surface questions in here. So let's start surface. Let's start with our favorite color. Where? Find that paper, don't show us yet. All right, not showing. Not showing. Okay, got I'm gonna it. guess your favorite color. All right. I think your favorite color is yellow. Wow, yellow? Yeah, I don't know. Why I, yellow? I think yellow because you seem like a bright person. Oh, oh, oh. That is bold and brave and not afraid to really be bright. Well, darn it, now I, I wish my color, my favorite color was yellow. Oh, no. <laughs> it was actually red. Red, oh, red. I, was, I was thinking red. Really? Yeah, that's how I pronounce red, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think my favorite color is? Something strikes me that your favorite color would be purple. Oh! Oh! One of my least favorite colors! Oh no! <laughs> I am already off to a great start. Growing up, I was a tomboy, and so I didn't mm. like purple or pinks at all. I don't know why, but for some reason, my favorite color is navy blue. Really? Navy blue? It feels like it's just got to be <laughs> together, and that's something I strive for constantly. Okay. Here's the fun thing about the newlywed game. Is newlywed game? I mean, the newlywed game. <laughs> Freudian slip. Oh, God. Okay. Let's do favorite movie. You love Disney. I was going to say. I'm going to go with Lion King. Ooh, you are so close. Ah, you are so close. Really? It was Aladdin. Aladdin? Aladdin. What? So like that was like one year off? Okay. Aladdin was 1993, you Lion King was 1994? A classic. Yeah. No, my choice is, it's kind of like a mini-series. Oh, a mini-series. I know, that doesn't help at all. If anything, that makes this answer way more complicated. <laughs> Lord of the Rings? No, no, but you could say it's the documentary version of that. It's making a murderer. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, I love documentaries. It was really good. It was so addictive that yeah. when I first started watching it, it was up till 4 a.m. Yeah. trying to finish it. And they're coming back with more, so I'm all in. Your celeb crush, yes. I think, is Emma Watson. Oh my goodness? Well, she's definitely up there. I didn't think about Emma Watson. Okay. I'm definitely going to give you a half point for that really? one. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, I chose Zendaya because she's just so oh, flawless. She's so she's good. She's a flawless human being. I was tied between Zendaya and Hayden Panettiere. Oh, I love both. oh. I love both. I've had the I've had a crush on Hayden Panettiere for the longest time. And Zendaya, just gorgeous. Okay, who do you think my celebrity crush is? Chris Hemsworth. <gasps> yeah, that's definitely in the mix. Is it, is it like a like, superhero yeah. esque? It is. Mm -hmm. Chris Evans. No, but also could be in the mix. Could be in the mix. Oh, Chris Pratt, one of the Chris's. No, but that's a <laughs> that's a very holy trinity of Chris's. <laughs> really right no, it's. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. It's Grant Gustin. He plays the Flash. Oh my goodness! <laughs> He's just so cute. I think your pet peeve is. Um, when people judge you without knowing you. Well, shoot, that's oh. actually a really good one. <laughs> now that you say that, I think a lot of people know me from the vines that I made. Yeah. And so I think that's where like people tied my identity to. So that's a good, that's a good one. Okay, but what did you Darn say? Darn it, uh, mine's nowhere near as philosophical as that. I put, I put cracking knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yours. When people expect you to do things in the morning when you're not ready. Ooh, that's a good one. No, mine in general is just kind of bullying. Oh, well, yeah. I don't like when people know that they're hurting someone's feelings and they don't like change the way they're operating. Oh, yeah. 
I think one of your most embarrassing moments is you um, you peed your pants on stage during a performance. So close. Really? That's <laughs> so close to what I wrote. I lost my pants on stage one night. <laughs> How? I was in a show called Heather's, the uh -huh. musical, and there's a there's a scene uh, in the show where you do the do. Uh huh. Why do they call it doing the do? Doing the do. <laughs> yeah. So it's like the pants went flying. We were supposed to wake up, and I'm supposed to get dressed. Yeah. My pants were gone. So it's pretty embarrassing. I mean, that show was that much more memorable then. So you do comedy on stage, so I feel like it's also gonna be on stage. It was sort of performance related. Giving a presentation or a speech. Close. I'm trying to like, I'm like you're guess really my fishing. way through it. You're I am fishing. fishing. <laughs> I feel like, okay, so you were in front of a whole bunch of people and you tripped and you fell. Metaphorically, that's what oh. happened. <laughs> uh, my first celebrity interview with the cast of Stella, it's David Wayne and Michael Showalter and Michael Ian Black. Yeah, yeah. And I'd never done an interview before and I was like, what are we doing? It was so last minute. And I got there, he's like, you know, just like shoot the <laughs> with them. They're cool guys. We had a camera and a microphone and I was just like, hey guys. And they were like, do you have any questions for us? And I was like, um, I had no idea what I was doing. In hindsight, I must have been like the dumbest idiot to them. No. And they were just like, so you don't have any questions prepared. And I literally cried Goodness, after they grilled them. you. But they grilled me, but then like in a sarcastic yeah, way. Yeah, I'm assuming that, they were playing around. Yeah. I feel like one of your biggest life goals would be to write your own musical. Wow. I think that's just me wanting you to write your own musical. Really? <laughs> yeah. Once again, you're very close, Grace. Yeah. Mine was basically just to be in a musical. <gasps> just be on Broadway. Like, that's my I biggest like thing. I feel like that's extremely attainable. Cheer them on, guys. Make it happen. <laughs> so, your life goal. I want to say, like, you want, like, a main stage to, like, do comedy. Um, <laughs> I said my biggest life goal is being happy. La 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 JK starting a sweatshirt fashion line. <laughs> this is favorite YouTuber, but with the underlying idea that we couldn't choose each other, obviously, because those would be our first two choices. Yep. I think your favorite YouTuber at the moment, because it always changes, uh -huh. is John Cozart. <laughs> That's a disclaimer. There's so many YouTubers that I, oh, I love. Oh, yeah. Like, this that was not, really hard choosing. I know. It's a really mean question. It it's, really it's is. Like, it's with the understanding that we love everyone. Yes. But at the moment right now, because, you know, flavor of the week. Okay, so for you, mm -hmm. Superwoman. Oh, that is good. That is, and I love Lily's videos, but right now I've been binging on Casey Neistat. And I oh, why did I not guess that? You literally just brought up Casey before the video started. I know, I also don't know how to spell uh, his last name. Very innovative and very interesting, I think. Grace, you know me a lot more. Now we both know each other. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's the fun part of this game, is that, that is there is no scorekeeping, because it's just about getting to know each other. Yeah. Thanks for being here, this was so much fun. It was such an honor. And we made a video over on Thomas's channel. Yes. What do we do? My brain is Super already- Super fun. Google guess. Oh, Google guess, where you guys gave us the start of sentences to search in Google, and we tried to guess how Google would complete those statements. Oh, so and much. wow, talk about an educational experience. <laughs> that was a time. So make sure that you guys go over to his channel and check it out. Where else yeah. should they go look at stuff? Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. Twitter. Great, well, all of those links will be in the description <laughs> bar below. Do good things with your lives. I don't Aww. know. I'm still. Is, I'm, is my chair sinking? sinking? I feel like my chair is sinking. <laughs> I'm just too. Sinking. I'm just too heavy. <laughs> the chair's like this is a. This it's sabotaging me. I love it. <laughs> I love that in the edit. It's gonna be like. Er, er, I know. I'm just gonna bounce up and down. <laughs> uh, 